This is the Cornerman Radio live with Barzini. Keith Thurman supposedly getting his fight pushed back from August 4th to September 8th. Now, I kind of figured somebody else said, like, his fight might be pushed back. And I kind of figured because we haven't heard our opponent yet. It's, what, June June 8th right today? So if it didn't if it wasn't announced last week or before, I doubt that fight was gonna be August fourth. But him fighting September eighth, now that's what we all assume. We all assumed Keith Thurman was gonna come back September. Um uh, well I did at least. September is a day where a lot of people fight in September. So August is not a month that it's very it's not known for big showdown fights. Besides the McGregor and Floyd Mayweather, I haven't seen a big card in August in a long time. I might be mistaken besides that, but Keith Thurman being back September 8th, I heard it's against um, supposedly Juanito or Juanito Lopez. He got a great win against Miguel Carr against... So um that's a good win uh or was it Miguel yeah Miguel Miguel something I forgot his name he was an undefeated prospect um pri um PBC and Lopez got a good victory in so long but I really just want to see Keith Thurman fight one of these guys man I want to see. It would have been great to see Keith Thurman against Timothy Bradley. I want to see him against a name, a real, a brand name, a name that we can all be excited for. But Keith Thurman and Lopez, that's, come on, like, we're not going to be excited for that. You know, I'm, the only reason I'm looking forward to Keith Thurman because he's my number one favorite fighter and I support Keith Thurman and I want to see him back. But Lopez is not going to last long. It's going to be a wipeout. You're going to see one time again getting a KO victory. But I want to see if Thurman is back. I want to see him against the Lucas Matisse and Manny Pacquiao winner. You know, I want to see him fight guys like that. I don't want to see a Danny rematch or a Sean Porter rematch. I want Earl Spence to fight that winner. And then let Keith Thurman get his little couple matchups and fight the winner of Earl Spence and Crawford. The reason why I want to see Spence and Crawford faster because I don't see Earl Spence staying at 147 long. Like, after next year, who really believes Earl Spence is going to still make 147 at, in 2020? He might do it for three fights next year. That's if he gets um, three fights next year. He might fight only twice, so I, I really don't see it. So I'd rather see him and Crawford fight as fast as they can make that fight because Crawford is going to stay at 147 for a very long time, for many years. Earl Spence, he's not going to fight there long. So I really want to see Crawford and Spence to fight each other first because I don't see Crawford and Spence fighting if it takes longer. If it goes till the end of the next year, I don't even see that fight happening. It has to happen the first the first 6 months from January to June of 2019, it has to happen. If it if it don't happen then or summertime, it's not it's not gonna happen. I I don't believe it. You know what I mean? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got is the Cornerman Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, it's Barzini.